Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Sidetrack here, kind of doing a multi-part um, tutorial on Tinker's Construct uh, by M. Dio. Um, in this uh, episode, we're going to be talking about this SDX block and the landmine. So the SDX is made by taking some TNT and a ball of glue, um, and your SDX is effectively a very large explosive. So let's come over here. Um, we're going to grab the TNT, some dirt, flint and steel, SDX, and our landmine. Now I've set up a couple of landmines here, um, and I've also set up my SDX. Now the SDX will work just like regular flint and steel. If you spark it with um, you know, flint, it will go off. Uh, if you put a redstone current on it, it will go off. Now the interesting thing about the SDX is as soon as it's lit, it disappears. And in a moment, giant explosion. So that is a very large explosion. Went all the way down to the bedrock, couple things below. Um, so quite nice. Uh, your landmine, um, you can load it with TNT. Um, and you'll see that it's got three slots for TNT. Um, and then at the top slot, you can use it to camouflage your landmine. So oh, look, it's not here anymore. I'll just have to walk on this. Ow. <laughs> So a nice big explosion, um, but there are more than just one slot, so if we step on this one, you can see that the hole is quite a bit bigger. And then we'll come to the third one, and just as you might imagine, a huge hole. So increasingly larger sizes. Um, and that's just by adding more TNT into it. Now the interesting thing that I want to show you is um, with your, if you're using standard TNT you can only put one in each hole. However, and, and pay no attention to the holes over there, I did not do anything. It wasn't me, I swear. It was those uppity villagers. So, we get to teach those villagers a lesson because, you know, they're blowing up the countryside. Um, <laughs> So we're going to come over here, we're going to take a look at these villagers, and their nice little town, um, and their annoying voices. One thing that I've noticed, if you take SDX, and actually several of the Tinker's Construct blocks will allow you to do this, you can actually stack them as an entire stack in the landmine. Um, now, if you take just one SDX, and you just put the SDX here, you're thinking, oh, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be a giant explosion. Um, wait a minute. It didn't blow up. It doesn't blow up. Um, so what you need to do is, you know, you could go back later and flint and steal them, but that kind of defeats the purpose of a landmine. Um, so what you actually have to do, and you'll see that I, in here, put a redstone brick that will emit a redstone signal up to four blocks away. So these are going to emit the red sewed signal to the SDX once they all get thrown out. So let's take a look at this. Oh boy. Wait for it. <laughs> all right. So I my computer's got to catch up to itself here for a second. Um, so massive amounts of destruction. Um, I got to be careful, or otherwise I'm going to crash my uh, my game here with all these blocks litter all over the place. Um, maybe not the smartest thing to do, but quite amusing. Um, so, yes, that happened. <laughs> we used to have a village there. Um, got to go over this way. So, uh, hopefully. Um, you're as excited about these new changes to Tinker's Construct as I am, and hopefully after watching this video you've got some ideas, some new plans that you might try. Um, as is pretty standard, I try not to tell you every single little thing, um, and I try to allow you plenty of chances to explore and figure things out on your own. Um, there are more things about, you know, this stuff that I, I didn't really talk about. I didn't talk much about pig iron. It's a new alloy. Um, but uh, hopefully you'll explore, you'll play around with it. Oh, and I should mention, if you haven't played with the new bows and the new system for crafting bows and arrows and things like that, you probably want to look at it. You can create some nasty, um, nasty bow and arrows um, that are very, very cool. So um, hopefully you enjoy. 
Hopefully this was useful. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and uh, try and fix it in later videos. Until next time, have a great day, folks.